I make a lot of AI short films, which means I'm constantly switching between video generators like Vio, Sora, Kling, Hilo. You get the idea. But Eleven Labs is part of almost every single AI movie I make. Even the movies where I don't use AI voice for dialogue or narration. I've been subscribing for almost three years now, and I really think it's an essential tool for any AI filmmaker, and I wanna share a few tips about how I've found it helpful. I think if you find yourself getting frustrated that your AI characters don't sound realistic, I'm gonna give you some tips to make them sound more believable and less likely to pull the audience out of the experience. Over here is where you can access all of the different components of Eleven Labs. The one you're probably most familiar with and the one that I probably use the least is text to speech. So if you had dialogue or if you had a voiceover narration, you would just type it in here. I don't have one in mind, so I'm just gonna choose there, guide a meditation class. Take a deep breath in and gently exhale. Remember, focus on your breath. So you get the idea. So you have these sliders here. You can make the character speak slower or faster. This one is called stability, and I always like to go more variable on this one, and that just means that between generations, you'll get a different take. This is almost like if you are a director and you're asking uh, your actor to do it a different way. Um, if you're looking for an audiobook and maybe you've just changed a line or two, you might wanna keep that more stable, but I like to keep it down here in the low 30s. Um, similarity is how similar to the voice it is. I don't usually mess with that one, but I mess with this one, style exaggeration. I, I like to go up to in the low 20s or 30s usually. This gives the character more expression when they're talking. Let's just try this one now. Take a deep breath in and gently exhale. Remember, focus on your breath. So to me, that's a little bit more expressive than the initial one. So remember our meditation voice, we'll use that a little bit later. This is Voice Changer. This is probably the one that I use the most. This is good if you have a certain delivery or cadence that you want the characters to have. Let's try it out. Sometimes you just have a certain cadence or an, an emphasis that you want the characters to have, you know? And then we can add a voice to that. So that's my really terrible acting, but you get the idea. Let's change this into um, James first. This husky and engaging person. Let's see how this does. Sometimes you just have a certain cadence or an, an emphasis that you want the characters to have, you know? And then if we decide we want to try someone else, we could try Haley McClure. I think this is Troy McClure's daughter. Sometimes you just have a certain cadence or an, an emphasis that you want the characters to have, you know? Okay, so you get the idea. Like, it's a great way to control the performance of your AI voice. Um, the other way I like to do this is dragging a file. So sometimes you might have dialogue from one of your VO movies, for example, but you want to improve it a little bit more. I love this line. What if life is just a collection of essentially unrelated experiences? We can drag that file here. I'll choose a different voice for that, and then let's generate it. I love this line. What if life is just a collection of essentially unrelated experiences? I love this line. What if life is just a collection of essentially unrelated experiences? I mentioned I don't always use AI voice, but I still use Eleven Labs, and this is how I do that. There's a lot of great sound effects in here. Sometimes you just need a good Brahm, you know? They've got a lot more listed by categories. I think these Foley ones can be really helpful if you're looking for certain things like footsteps or certain sound effects. Or you can just prompt for your own. And you get like four options. You can click this history button See all of the previous generations that you've done. I used a subway terminal sound for a movie I did recently. <sighs> 
This is where you can design or choose your own voice. There are collections that they'll have, or you can search the library for whatever you're looking for. We used Deep and Husky before. In the stillness of contemplation. If you're like me, you have a voice in mind or an actor in mind, maybe. What I often do is go to ChatGPT and say, write a prompt for Eleven Labs for a character with the vocal characteristics of, and then just list the person who you had in mind. So I made sure that I'm not naming the actor that I'm thinking of in the prompt or else it will get rejected by Eleven Labs. Let's try this option one. And then I'm gonna create a voice. So I'll go into voice design, paste my prompt in here and generate voice. Well, bless your heart. It's just one of those days, isn't it? So we get three options here. That was the first one. Let's listen to the second one. Well, bless your heart. It's just one of those days, isn't it? Well, bless your heart. It's just one of those days, isn't it? To me, voice two is the closest to what I had in mind. I'm going to select that one. Give it the language English. Give it a name that is unrelated to the actor. And, and then we'll save that voice. Now this is a voice that we can use elsewhere in Eleven Labs. Now we'll use this new voice for that uh, meditative voice that we had before. Take a deep breath in and gently exhale. One thing you'll notice is that we lost her Southern accent there because the Southern accent isn't in the source voice. And the same is true if the source voice were to have a Southern accent or an Eastern European accent, as I've discovered in some videos, that will come through in the voice changer. So you'll get the tone of the voice, but it will still pronounce words with the same accent as the source video. Move the similarity to like 100 even. Let's see if that helps at all. Take a deep breath in and gently exhale. Remember, focus on your breath. So it's a little bit closer, maybe. All right, this last one is fun. I used this once to turn my voice into a Polish voice and then that Polish voice into an elderly woman's voice. And I used an entire voiceover narration. It sounded like this. Teraz poruszam się wolniej, ale lubię powolne tempo. So to do that, we're going to create a dub. So we'll call this one Polish woman example. For mine, I recorded my voice like this. I move slower now, but I like slow. And then I turned that into a Polish version of my voice. Teraz poruszam się wolniej, ale lubię powolne tempo. So I just recorded my script and then it translated into Polish and generated the audio for that. Once I had the Polish version of my voice, I turned it into her voice. So now I want to go back to voice changer and I'll drag that file into the voice changer and then I can pick a different voice. So we did, let's do Mandy since we used her already. Teraz poruszam się wolniej, ale lubię powolne tempo. I still have the voice of my Polish woman, so I can regenerate that one too. Teraz poruszam się wolniej, ale lubię powolne tempo. So I took my voice, turned it into a Polish version of my voice, and then turned the Polish version into the original Polish woman's voice. So there's a lot of flexibility to dial in your character's vocal qualities, which I think is really important when telling a story. When you have that audio, you can bring it into a lip sync tool, uh, attach an image or a video, and bring it to life. So those are the ways that I use Eleven Labs to make AI movies. Uh, for me, it really is an essential tool for AI filmmaking. So if this was helpful and you're thinking of trying it out, use the link in the description. I hope this helps you expand and improve the kinds of stories that you're telling with AI. I thank you for watching. Here's a moment of meditation. Take a deep breath in and gently exhale. Remember, focus on your breath. Listen to the soft ambient sounds of the evening.